This is the brand new, new tool, all new, fresh and crisp Magic Factory Corsair kit. Now, it may come as a surprise that I like the Corsair, and well, despite my feelings towards open box reviews, and those who say, looks good in the box, I can tell you, this Corsair shows a lot of promise as I take it out of the box. But I'm going to do you one better. I'm going to show you some comparisons between the Magic Corsair and the trusty old Tamiya kit. Is this new kit from the newcomer all of that in a big bag of O'Gratton potato chips? Or is old man Tamiya still the king of the Corsairs? Let's find out. <laughs> At this time, the state of the art, at least when it comes to Corsair models of 48 scale, are the Hasegawa kits for the later variants and Tamiya for the early Corsairs. Oh sure, there have been a couple of upstarts here and there, some with some neat features and doohickeys, but they always fell short. The Tamiya Corsair is one of those two sprue wonder kits from the 90s. I've built it a pile of times. It was the first kit I built when I got back to the hobby in 2007. And I just finished building one a few weeks ago. I love it. I love to build that kit. And I've got at least a half dozen in the stash. But it ain't perfect. It's got some issues. And I've developed some strategies to manage them. For those interested, I've posted a link to my Tamiya Corsair build video up above. And I'll have it in the notes below. All this to say, I'm very interested to see if the Magic Factory Corsair has addressed some of those problems. So let's start with what are, in my opinion, two of the biggest issues when dealing with the Tamiya Corsair. The join in the front of the cockpit and those wonky wings. This is what I mean about the join in front of the cockpit. On almost every Corsair build I've done, this join comes to a point, or like a tent, instead of being a smooth circle. Of course, it's fixable, but that always involves rescribing that round fuel tank cover uh, or preserving that hinge for the access hatch and then somehow doing circular re-riveting. Now have a look at this. The Magic Corsair bypasses all these issues by having separate parts for the top of the fuselage. Now that is progress. So what about those wings? To me it gives you the option of having folded wings by making them in seven pieces, which is great in theory, especially if you want the wings folded. However, in my experience, getting a good clean join without wonky wing tips always takes some amount of shimming and fitting or just giving up and living with underwing gaps. The Magic Corsair cures those wonky wings with a full wing option. Look at that! Nice. They also have the option to have folded wings in a similar parts breakdown to that of the Tamiya. Now that's a crowd pleaser for sure, but let me show you something even nicer. This is the Tamiya engine, which I always thought was one of the stronger aspects of the kit. It's pretty easy to guss it up and make it pretty. Oh sure, you can get better aftermarket, but as a kit engine, not bad, not bad. But get a load of this. The Magic Kit engine just kicks it up a notch. There are separate push rods, the ignition ring is separate, and the detail in the crankcase, magnetos, and governor, well, it's almost at a level of an aftermarket part. Another high point to the Tamiya kit was always the detail of the cockpit. In fact, the only place where the Tamiya cockpit falls flat is in the seat bracket. Tamiya simplified this part with a slotted piece to insert the seat. Now let's take a look at the real Corsair. On this part of the cockpit, it's much more intricate and there is a movable bracket that allows the chair to be adjusted for height impaired pilots. While I can't say the Magic Factory Corsair cockpit blows Tamiya out of the water, it does have some very nice improvements. First of all, it's got a much more realistic seat bracket. It's got nice photo etched seat belts. There's also um, a separate dashboard. Anyway, the part that goes on top of the instrument panel. Actually, this part looks amazing. And it'll work well with the way the Magic Factory has designed the kit's canopy. Much like what we've been seeing on newer kits, the transparent canopy piece extends to fit the fuselage for a, few, for a seamless joint. 
which is a definite upgrade over the traditional Tamiya cockpit. So, those are some upgrades as I see them, but this new kit also has some strange aspects. Let's take a look at the fabric services on a real Corsair. Now, this part of the Corsair has always been a bit of a challenge for kit makers. As you can see, the material isn't fabric-y. It doesn't have a weave. It doesn't look like canvas. It's actually smooth. It's almost like drum material that's stretched over a tight frame. And if you look closely, you can see there are some tape strips to reinforce those areas. Turning now to the Magic Factory Corsair, you can see they were attempting to replicate tape strips, but they made the strips too thick. They almost look like planks. But how does that compare to the Tamiya? Well, it's not like Tamiya got it right either. There, are, there aren't tape strips, but there are divots between simulated ribbing structures. Out of the two, I'd say that Tamiya is closer, but you know you can easily remove those tape structures on the on the magic surfaces. Lastly, let's take a look at the wheels. The Tamiya kit has a perfectly round wheel with radial treads. Now it may be a little bit on the thick side, but the magic wheel is bulged and not as detailed. I think it'll boil down to whether you like the look of bulged wheels. Personally, I think they look a little silly, but hey, maybe that's just me. So where does this leave us Corsair fans? For the last few years, a, a good new 48 scale Corsair has been on the top of my annual wish list that I post on my blog. I always use good as a qualifier because let's face it, the Tamiya kit's a tough one to beat. But now we have this Magic Factory Corsair and it definitely has some excellent improvements, even if it does have a few quirks. So. Should you go out and stomp on all the Tamiya Corsairs stacked in your stash? No. Not until we find out just how nicely this kit will build up. But given what I've seen so far, I'm hopeful. Very hopeful. Until next time, keep building, keep taking risks. It's the only way to get better. Thanks for watching, everyone.